All right, folks, so here we have the Retivas RA25, and it is connected to the Nisei SWR and power meter. Uh, this is a really popular radio. It was sent to me uh, free of charge in exchange for this and other video reviews from Retivas or Retivas. I'm not sure exactly how you say that. If you're the type of person that is triggered by that, it's time to click off now. What we're going to do in the video today is uh, we're going to do a power test, and I'm sorry that this is a little dimly lit. You really can't see the whole radio. Let me see if there's something I can do with a flashlight here and, and uh, help you out. We'll get uh, some pictures of the, uh, of the radio towards the end of the video. Uh, in any event, we are going to do a power test. And what we have here, um, this radio was sent to me in its GMRS, not amateur radio configuration. So what we have here is channel one, which is supposed to be low power. I'm gonna roll us a uh, picture in now that shows you the channels that are pre-configured for low and for high power. And you can see the L depicted right underneath this voltage indicator, letting us know that it is low power. And that means we're supposed to get five watts when we key this radio. So we are keying into a dummy load, no need to panic there. And uh, we are at 4.3, 4.2 something uh, watts. We have a little bit of an SWR there. Uh, we are using an MFJ uh, dummy load that is supposed to work well past these frequencies, but maybe it doesn't. Also, we have six feet of RG8X coaxial cable on the back. So let's take a look and see, this is a frequency that is programmed for high power. You can see the H depicted underneath the voltage icon. So let's see what we get when we go for high power. Now this is supposed to come back at 20 watts and you can see here it does not. So that got me to wonder, and then is it the 1.3 SWR? Um, I know that there is going to be some reflected power that comes back. You can see that there, but that looks like it's only a quarter of a, uh, of a watt coming back. So I decided to do a little bit more investigating. Let's go lower in frequency and still be considered high power and see what happens here. I don't know what that beep was. But uh, we're still around the 13.4. So one of the things that uh, I decided to do is I decided to turn this off and I decided to boot into the amateur radio mode. And uh, I have a video on this. Um, you can check that out if you want to see more details on that. So let me just go ahead and turn this off, turn it back on. And if I put in a two meter frequency, one, four, six, five, two, zero, zero, zero. And I go ahead and I key this up. You can see I get over 20 watts. Um, and that is depicted by that H right there on that high. So something's different. Something's going on there. And let's go to one in the 440 band and just see what's going on there. Uh, this is still high. You can see by the H there. And we are at 18 and a half, give or take. Um, so I don't think that uh, in its GMRS configuration that this radio puts out 20 watts. Is that a problem? I don't think it is. Um, is it a consideration that uh, may influence your decision around purchasing? Potentially. Anyhow, if you are interested in checking it out more, there'll be links below. Now let's get a closer look at the radio. All right, so just a quick look at the interface. Here you have your microphone or accessory port that comes into this. this is a really nice uh, microphone. It feels good in the hand and I like it. Um, here are your control buttons, and you have, I believe this is an inch and a half uh, display screen that's functional. And then you have this, uh, this knob here. On the back, you have your antenna port for your coax connection and your power cable, which came with a cigarette adapter. We're plugged into a lithium-ion battery here. For the test, I just have this coaxial cable that runs around and goes into the input on the Nisei SWR power meter. And then here is the MFJ dry dummy load. That's really it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.